Good morning, everyone. This morning, we are going to discuss about a subject pertaining to education. Indian education can best be described as mumbo-jumbo. I don't have any better word for that. It's all mumbo-jumbo, and I'm telling you, through my five different kinds of knowledge, declarative knowledge I have, procedural knowledge, heuristic knowledge, meta-knowledge, and most importantly, empirical knowledge. I have been teaching the Unagadi students for the last 25 long years, 8 to 10 hours constantly, all alone. And I have seen all kinds of qualities of students. But one thing is common among all the students, that when they join my institute, they don't even know two tenses whether they are graduate or postgraduate, or that they are MA, MSc, MBA, or MCA. Don't know 12 tenses, but when they leave, they know 44 tenses, they're able to speak in English language within two months. I don't give them more than two months, and they don't take more than two months. Sometimes I wonder that these same students who are so laborious, so hardworking, so strenuous, who can speak in English language within two months. How come they cannot speak in English language within 17 long years? Five years of higher secondary, I mean 12 years of higher secondary school and five years of college. They cannot speak, they, can, they don't know. Even four tenses instead of 44, but when they join the GA Institute, they speak Fluent English, and they learn all the 44 tenses. That means fault is not among the students, but fault lies among the teachers. Teachers who don't teach. I teach, and I know students definitely learn. 99 students out of 100, they learn. All 100 students learn, but one student that breaks away after one month or two months, for some kind of emergency, there is only the student who doesn't get benefit out of GA. Other than that, those who spend four hours, four months, within two months they speak fluent English and two months they can get practice, every single thing is hunky-dory. So we cannot blame the students for this mumbo-jumbo, but we definitely and squarely blame the teachers who are very poor, who are very ignorant, who are not up to the par. That is why they don't actually put any kind of substance in education. No significance in education. No sense in education. Check the teacher. I have checked the teachers also. I checked the homework of all other students. What kind of homework is given? And I asked them questions. Yesterday, what chapter did the, did the teacher teach you? So they gave this chapter. I said, tell me about the chapter. They don't remember anything. But they can remember every single thing when I teach. Second question I ask is that out of, how, out of the whole chapter, how much? Portion of the chapter is done, second one page. Out of four pages, one page is done. One page? These lousy teachers are not fit to call teachers. They are not fit to call teachers. They are lazy slobs, totally lazy snobs. Lazy snobs, there's no any better word for them to describe. I've chosen five points to amplify this mumbo-jumbo we call education. Ignorant tittle-tattle. Tittle-tattle means gossips. Kiki talking, kiki conversation, hee-haw, all the stupid immature things, foolish thing the teachers and the students that talk in the class, absolutely foolish, idiotic thing they talk, and they spend 44, 45 minutes in tittle tattle and they don't teach anything to the students. Now, students are immature. Students are all, always students. They always trust 110% of the teacher. And they think that whatever teachers teach, that is important. But they don't know the teacher doesn't teach anything important. He's just uh, whiling away his time, wasting away his time, wasting away your time, your energy, and your future. The students are too immature to understand 
the games the teachers play in the class, indulging in all kinds of stupid tittle tattle, stupid gossips, stupid conversation, stupid kiki conversation, stupid hoi haw, absolutely foolish thing that foolish people do. That what teachers do in the class is all foolish things the foolish people do. Point number two, quality can blush. Even Mario Puzo. Mario Puzo was a mafia. He was a shameless, humiliating, absolutely weird type of snob. Even this kind of person can actually say, what happened to the teachers in India that they don't teach anything? What is the matter with them? Now, this kind of low lives can also criticize teacher, that kind of qualities of education the teacher have actually made it. Quality has collapsed in India totally. It has gone in Nadir, thanks to teachers, not students. Students always like kiki culture and tittle tattle, but teachers stop them. Teachers know what is important. Teachers know their future. Teachers know the significant issues of the future of education and future of the nation. They lead them, don't mislead them, but teachers over here mislead them. They don't put any kind of pressure on the student to learn. Point number three, impervious to education. Impervious means it doesn't enter. Education does not penetrate in the mind, heart, and the soul of the teachers, so it does not penetrate in the heart, mind, and the soul of the students. We have a beautiful saying in Gujarati language which sums up every single thing. And that saying is, Kua Mahoy. Now our kuvas means the teachers are all dried up. They are empty. They are absolutely zero. How they can actually inculcate anything in the mind, soul, and heart of the students? If the wells are dried up, taps are dried up. If there is nothing in the well, nothing in the tap, nothing in the student, sorry, nothing in the teachers, nothing in the students. It's as simple as 2 plus 2. Point number 3. Totem of education is fragile. Totem of education must be robust. Totem means a foundation. Foundation of a student must be absolutely robust. Roots of the education must be robust. And the robust roots are made by only teachers. Now, over here, what is the worst thing that teacher actually experience or teachers actually do is they just don't care. She are care about education. They don't care about future. They don't care about the students. They don't care about education that I, I'm going to teach students what is veritable education. I'm going to teach them to become scholarly students for tomorrow. I'm going to teach them so they can serve the nation in the future. I'm going to give them the kind of education that they can actually be proud of themselves and the nation can be proud of themselves. Teachers can be proud of themselves calling them, hey, he's my student. Like I am proud of my students. My students are everywhere in the world from Canada to Australia and they are fabulously successful students. They are shiny students and earning a huge amount of money. Just a couple of days ago, one of my students came from Canada and he spent 15 lakh rupees for his mom's heart cardiac surgery. 15 lakh rupees and they, he was laughing and talking about that thing because he has accumulated more than 10 crore rupees. Look, and this guy was newspaper peddler. When he was in Junagadh, he was throwing the newspaper early in the morning, came to G Institute, completed his MBA, went to Canada. So, teachers should be proud of their students. Teachers should not be proud of getting salary. They are actually taking this salary as a blood money. Haram no pagar, haram no pagar, blood salary. Because they don't give anything in return. Their job is to give best quality, essential, substantial, significant education to the students, but they don't give that kind of education to their students. Point number five, compelling, 
not propelling education. Education has all become compelling. Come every day and don't be absent and bring homework and do the homework and sit six hours in the class without learning anything, write down this and write down that, just, just to copy this book from, from the book to this copy and a fair book and a rough book. Every single thing we are putting in the book, students are kept busy without making them understand anything. They don't concentrate. They are just a laborer. They are hardworking students, not smart working students. Hardworking students are like those who are copying the whole book. They will pick up whole book, open it, and from page number one to page number 500, they are going to copy down every single thing in their Facebook without knowing what did they copy. That is what's going on right now. Hardworking, not smart working students. We have another saying in our vernacular language, Gujarati language. Khopla bharo, chopla nahi. And today, our students are doing everything, only one thing, pulling up the, filling up the choplas, not filling up the minds. Chopla bharo, khopla nahi. That was the slogan of teachers in our time. Our time, every teacher will tell probably 10 times a day. The chopla na bharo, khopla bharo, khopla man na ko, put every single thing in your, in your brain, instill every single thing in your mind, in your brain. So, education has become compelling, not propelling. And it is not going to change unless and until the teachers are going to get better. Education is not going to get better. If you want education better, then teacher must be better. Teachers must be better. Teachers must be truly and veritably defect on the jure educated teachers. If teachers know, if teachers know, then the student will know. If teachers don't know anything, then how can the students know anything? So it is responsibility. Teaching is the responsibility of the teacher. Only teacher, nothing but a teacher, always teacher. Teacher has to teach. A student has to learn. And a student is going to learn if teacher is willing to teach. And if teacher is going to give them significant, substantial education, Students are definitely going to be attracted and they are definitely going to pay attention. Even if they don't want to pay attention, they will pay attention. That is what Ravindranath Tagore has said. Students go to study because of the curiosity, but they stay over there in the class because of the edutainment. They enjoy education, so they stay. Now here is a boring, humdrum and monotonous classes in which humdrum, monotonous teachers are giving students nothing but tittle tattle. It is all tittle tattle. We cannot actually call our education an education, but purely mumbo jumbo and tittle tattle. That's all the time we have. Thank you very much for listening. Bye. God bless everyone on this.